ACH and wire origination in business digital banking. In this video, we'll cover adding a new payee and payment method, creating an ACH template, submitting ACH using an ACH template, initiating a wire transfer, and approving ACH and wire transfers. Let's start with adding a new payee and payment method. Before you can submit an ACH template or a wire transfer, you have to add your payees. Hover over Settings and Support and click Business Admin. Select the Payees tab. Click the Add New Payee button. Select whether the payee is a person or a business. Enter the payee's name and information. Click the Add Payee button. Click Add Payment Method. Select ACH, Domestic Wire, or International Wire as a payment method type. If you select ACH as your payment method, enter the payee's routing number. Select the account type. Enter the payee's account number. Enter a nickname for the payee. And click the Save button. If you select Domestic Wire as your payment method type, select United States as the country. Enter the physical address of the payee. Select the Add Intermediary FI if needed. Note that not all financial institutions use an intermediary. Enter the payee's routing number. Enter the payee's account number. Enter a nickname for the payee. Click the Save button. If you select International Wire as your payment method type, enter the International Institution SWIFT Bank ID. Enter the financial institution's name. Enter the payee's account number. Enter a nickname for the payee. Enter the financial institution's physical address. Select Add Intermediary FI if needed. Note that not all financial institutions use an intermediary. Click the Save button. Let's move on to creating an ACH template. Hover over Pay and Transfer in the top navigation. Click on ACH Origination. From the Templates tab, click the New Template button. Enter the template name. Choose the offset account. The company name should prefill to match the business name of the offset account. Select the transaction type from Payroll, payments being sent to individuals, consumer collections, payments being collected from individuals, business payments, payments being sent to businesses, and business collections, payments being collected from businesses. Enter a company entry description. This provides a description of the transaction. It's limited to 10 characters and is often posted to the payee's account. Choose the access level. Click the Create Template button. After you've created the template, click Add Pays. Select the Pays to add and click the Assign Pays button. Select the pencil icon next to a payee to make the edits. You can choose their status. Active, the payee is a live entry that will be included in the template sent for processing. On hold, the payee is not live and will not be included in the template for submission. Or pre-note, the system creates a $0 pre-note entry in the template. Pre-notes should be sent three banking days prior to submitting a live entry. You can also enter the amount to be sent to the payee. You can include addenda information if you like. Click Save Changes. If dual control is required, the ACH template will be awaiting secondary authorization from another business user. Once a template is created, it can be used to easily process ACH. From the Templates tab, select the template name. Select the pencil icon next to the payee to update the status and amount if needed. Click the Review and Submit button. Confirm the total credits and total debits. Choose if it's a one-time or recurring payment. If it's a one-time payment, enter the deliver by date and submit the template. If it's a recurring payment, enter the frequency, starting and ending dates, and then submit template. If dual control is required, the ACH file will be awaiting secondary authorization from another business user. Next, let's walk through how to initiate a wire transfer. Hover over Pay and Transfer on the top navigation and click Business Wires. If a new payee needs to be entered, select Enter Payee manually. 
Select whether the payee is a person or a business. Enter the payee name. Select whether or not the payee should be saved for future submission. Select add address, which is required for wire transfers. Enter the payee's physical address. Click the Add Payee button. Choose a payment method type of domestic wire or international wire. If it's a domestic wire, select Add Intermediary Financial Institution if needed. Enter the payee's routing. Enter the payee's account number. Enter a nickname for the payee. Click the Save button. If it's an international wire, enter the international institution's SWIFT bank ID. Enter the financial institution's name. Enter the payee's account number. Enter a nickname for the payee. Enter the physical address. Select Add Interme Intermediary FI if needed. Click the Save button. Select the funding account. The company name should prefill to match the business name of the offset account. Enter the amount. Choose the frequency. Under the send on field, enter the payment date. Enter originator and beneficiary info if needed. Click confirm payment. Review the wire details and click submit. If dual control is required, the wire will be awaiting secondary authorization from another business user. Finally, we'll go over approving ACH and wire transfers. Items that need immediate attention, including ACH and wires, will appear on your dashboard. You can also locate them under the Business Admin section located under Settings and Support. Click the item to view details. Once you've reviewed the details, check the box next to Needs Auth. Select Reject or Authorize. Thank you for using Business Digital Banking.